this color logic tutorial, we're going to create a tissue box packaging design. So as we can see on the die line, we have the lid of the box with the die opening area where you would pull the tissues through. We have four side panels and the base. And we're going to use our color logic palettes to color up our artwork and show you in real time how quickly you can design using the color logic system. Once we've made this first design, we're then going to do three different versions, so different colors. Um, themed colors so that would simulate four SKUs that you could then print out on the same sheet of paper at the same time. So to start with we're going to add a panel or background color to our design so at the moment this is just a tint of black to show you on the screen. I'm going to go to the CoreLogic graphic style libraries and in here we have a list of all of our colors in our swatch book and every color's dimensional and watermark effect. So we might use one of these techniques a little bit later. So first of all, let's scroll through and, and choose a color. So let's have a look, let's use number 89. So it's applying the CoreLogic color, which is a, a pre-mixed defined set of the CoreLogic effect channel and also CMYK colors. From there, I'm going to go and add in some snowflakes onto my design because I'm going to do a Christmassy uh, styled um, box packaging. And obviously, we're not showing you how, how to design, we're just showing you how to color up your design. So we have another layer. Next, I'm going to add in what we call dimensional effect. And dimensional effect is the ability to control the mask with inside the metallic area or the white ink area when you're printing. And it's a great way to be able to add contrast and dimension to your print and bring out some extra sparkle. There are masterclass tutorials on how to work with dimensional effect, which can be accessed through our online vault, and that's available to all our licensed Logic users. So I'm just going to select those elements on my design. They're actually inside a mask, so I'm going to edit the clipping mask, edit the contents, and pick up the snowflakes, which are currently just black. And I'm going to go to my graphic style library, and remember in the background we had number 89. So if I want the dimensional effect in that color area to be apparent, then I have to color it up as 89 dimensional effect. So that's now going to create this knockout mask. And let's just quickly see what we've done so far. So let's turn off our CMYK and you'll see our silver separation. So the silver would be where the silver ink prints and the white is your white paper. Or if you're printing this onto metallized silver material, or it could be a rainbow or holographic, and that silver is the silver substrate on all this white area is the white ink mask. So it's automatically creating this as we're designing with the CoreLogic system. Next, we're going to go through and add some solid panels into here. So the panels in this instance, I'm going to color up as a um, kind of like a corresponding color. So the background, we had number 89. So let's just stick with that for now. Keep it very simple, adding the 89. And maybe you want to add in something, maybe just like a, a silver. So we can go to the silver, the ColorLogic silver for the silver separation. And now all we have to do is add in some text. In this instance, I'm going to use whiteout text, drop in some logos and branding. So we have ColorLogic logos. And then add in some information on the bottom panel. And obviously, you can add in whatever design you want. So there we have one design quickly and easily created using the CoreLogic system. We've picked colors and we've applied them. Now, if we choose that we don't want to have the same color on the top and bottom, we can simply go in here and select those bottom panels. Maybe you want to go for a lighter shade. So let's pick something in the similar sort of uh, category. So number 84. So we're picking again, a different color from our swatch book. We could completely change this and we could have gradients, we could have all sorts of effects, but for this one, we're just gonna keep it very simple and very elegant. So now, now that we've done this, we're going to go through and we are going to make four in total. So let's just get everything on here and let's just copy all that. In fact, actually, I better make sure that all my layers are ungrouped. Okay, so I'm gonna select everything, make a copy. Let's just bring that over here. And what we'll do is we'll pick another color scheme from our swatch book. And it's just quickly to show you how we can actually create different styles, different designs, really simply, just by changing the color. 
Okay, so I'm going to zoom into this one. And all we have to do is go through and change the colors. So in this instance, we're going to change that background. Let's go to kind of more like a pinkish color, 167. Now, because we've changed the background, you notice how these stars, uh, the snowflakes, sorry, um, are a different color. That's because the dimensional effect is working with the previous color palette. So we're going to need to go in here and select those. And which of the one? Select this one. Okay, I've got those both selected. And remember, we need to go and edit the contents of this. We'll go to our color logic palette, apply the dimensional effect for that color. And then we can go into the background of these bottom panels. And again, let's choose this a lighter, subtler shade. So very quickly, we can go through and create multiple SKUs of our design in real time. Okay, so that's how we design with the system. I'm gonna create two more colors and then I'm gonna actually show you how we can visualize these files using the ColorLogic FX Viewer and also how we can create these files for working inside the ESCO Studio Visualizer. Once the design has been made using the ColorLogic system, we can then visualize that using the FX Viewer, which is the ColorLogic proprietary software for viewing the effects on the screen. All we have to do, take file, and drag and drop the PDF file into the FX Viewer. Now what's gonna happen in the background is it's actually going to open up a rip hidden out of sight, and it's gonna process and rip the PDF file into a file format that can be viewed inside our viewing tool. The virtual room environment that we're going to be using has a spherical light source. What that means is that light in a spherical area is going to bounce off your design. So just to show people in case you haven't seen this already, it's a virtual environment. You can go all the way around here. As I mentioned, it's a spherical light source. You've got light coming from different directions and it's going to actually uh, bounce off the design. All we have to do is go to the visualize menu and choose how to visualize. So in this instance, we're going to visualize printing on a metallic ink. So we can pick and move the file around and we can see that metallic effect. Now, if we look at the design a bit more closely, in the background, we picked a metallic color, and then we use a dimensional effect for these other snowflakes. So look what happens to the snowflakes, which had dimensional effect. At the moment, the light green on this dark green background, when the light bounces off the metallics, it makes these snowflakes go to a darker green. So go light green, dark green. And it's this flip-flop switching on and off change that we can create in our design that creates extra dimension and movement in your print. Very simple, just by controlling the silver mask. Now, if you wanted to visualize the file printing with a, a metallic silver substrate with white ink, we can take the same design and we just go to the visualize printing on foil. And now we can see what it would look like with a foil substrate with white ink and CMYK. Notice how that we have all these white snowflakes, they remain white. We never have to make a white ink separation using the ColorLogic tools. We design an effect printing plate that is controlled at the rip level. It basically says, do you want to output the silver ink or do you want to output for white? This streamlines your process of designing, makes it quick and intuitive to learn. For those customers that have the ESCO Studio Visualizer, you can now also visualize ColorLogic effects with inside this application program. To do this, simply drag and drop your PDF file into the ESCO program. It will then bring in all the different layers from your PDF file. So we're now gonna specify the type of paper it's gonna print on. The ColorLogic separation is automatically recognized and is mapped to the ColorLogic Silver Ink as a default setting. We then need to put um, process inks over the top and this, again, this is recognized as an individual separation. We can then add a die cut, which we have done on here. And we've then added in a folded box visual. So we've actually applied a fold up die line to this. This will then allow us to be able to open the file and visualize in 3D. So great way to be able to create three dimensional mockups and simulate all the effects of a color logic. So from there, we could turn off each one of those 
and put on a different colored appearance. So again, this is from the artwork we created earlier in our design. And again, we can output and save visuals to show our customers. And we did two other styles. We did a blue. And we also did a uh, purple color. So these are all geared up towards a Christmas theme. And of course, you can choose whatever colors you like from the color logic system. OK, so there we have it. Ability to be output movies can be done through the ESCO program. Simply specify your angles of rotation. And then you can save and output your file. So there we have the ESCO Studio Visualizer, a way to be able to see in three dimensions your CoreLogic designs. Now, if you are working with inside the ESCO Studio Visualizer and you would be able, like to be able to see this printed onto a foil substrate, then we can go in and select the CoreLogic separation. We double click. We change this from the color logic silver to an opaque white, and we invert the separation. From there, we then go onto the paper substrate and change that to a foil board in this instance. Update the visual. And we can now see what the design would look like when printed onto a foil metallized material. Obviously, with the foil system, it's going to give you a much brighter reflectivity. Now notice that when switching to the foil, we don't have to change any of the white ink masking. Due to the unique way that the CoreLogic system works, all white ink masks are automatically created with inside the palettes and plugins as you design. So provided you design with CoreLogic, you will never have to make a white ink separation again. One design can go out to either metallic silver ink printing or white ink printing.